सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री एंड इन यू एच वी थ्री वी वर डूइंग वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एग्जिस्टेंस इन लेक्चर सिक्सटीन हाउ द एग्जिस्टेंस इज देर एंड इट इज expressing itself unfolding itself constantly and we can see its expression in the form of the four orders of nature so yesterday we had completed that discussion on lecture 16 and as assignment we had asked you to look at specifically a few things in terms of reflecting on what we had talked about we may not be able to see the existence i mean the space and the coexistence um, in the existence but we can start with we said looking at the distance between two units and looking at what we see there so when you are looking at any two units in nature we said where is our focus what are we seeing in between these two units are we seeing the distance or the gap the emptiness between the two or are we seeing the effect of one unit on the other unit are we seeing the relationship between the two units in the innateness of each unit being in harmony and then combined being together in harmony or are we able to see all the way to the submergence and the coexistence so we said that this um possibility is there in each one of us but for us to be able to see it for ourselves we have to awaken to the higher activities and to be able to directly see the space we need to awaken to the highest activity that is the activity of realization we may not be there yet but still we have a glimpse of it in the form of the reflection of the coexistence within us as the natural acceptance so by referring to the natural acceptance we can get an idea and we can start moving from there how by observing our own feeling at the level of imaging at the level of desire we are constantly having some feeling or the other within us to become aware of that to see if it is in line with natural acceptance or not and if not bring it in line with that so that we are in harmony the more and more times that we are in harmony and our focus is on the natural acceptance slowly we are able to see these higher activities within us because they are already there within us we just have to be able to see them so it's a slow process it will happen slowly and it goes from you know bottom to top so if you look at the activity of contemplation then it has to do with the relationship seeing the relationship between the units between every unit and living it living in with that feeling of relationship 
which means that when I interact with others, see with nature there is no challenge because nature already there is harmony. The challenge is when we interact with other human beings because there, there are many who may lack understanding and their behavior may not be in line with understanding. So then what do you do? Are you getting influenced by their behavior or are you able to keep your focus on your natural acceptance and stay in line with your natural acceptance regardless of their behavior? So when people have differences in opinions, when people have different preconditionings from ours, they have different kind of behavior. What do we see? Are we able to see our role in the relationship? Are we able to play our part in the relationship? So we had asked this question yesterday. And we thought we'd take your observations now. If anybody would like to give their observations regarding this question. Madam, okay. uh, when I was uh, looking at uh, two units in nature, uh, I saw gap also, and also I saw the effect of one another, and I saw the relationship also. The All the three I am seeing. Suppose, okay. uh, for example, uh, uh, I take uh, myself and a plant or a tree. There is a gap I observe, voids. And uh, I get the effect of myself and on the plant, definitely, and plants affect on me. It gives fruit and I take, and it affects my survival. And I, when it was a plant, I can pour water, or, uh, or I can cut it also. So the effect of uh, uh, one on another I observed. And uh, I observe, because if it gives fruit, it nurtures me. Like that I observed. Uh, and the relationship between uh, me and the uh, plant or tree I observed. So there is a balance I observed. Suppose if it, uh, uh, actually it's uh, given by, it's given itself. I, I, I um, uh, uh, give out uh, carbon dioxide, it takes carbon dioxide. It gives out uh, oxygen, I take oxygen. So that is a, it is a, uh, inseparable relationship and uh, which is excellent I observed uh, and there are some trees people and uh, Tulsi like uh, trees are there in night also they give oxygen so for our survival the very essential uh, uh, oxygen is available there in the nature so there is a permanent relation between uh, different units what I observed madam and uh, yeah. Second also, can you see there is a distance between self and body? Already you gave exercise in previous. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, definitely there is a di di distance uh, between self and body because the distance in the sense, I'm not that sensation. That is the distance. But mm -hmm. I'm in it and I am able to do body. Uh, I'm able to do different things with the body only. Wait, wait, wait. You are in it in what? Uh, I'm I'm not I'm sorry I'm not in it I'm associated with it and I'm able to do different things with the help of body. Yeah, that is the relation. So we see we are thinking about this and it's good that our thoughts are going in that direction. Ah uh, yeah yeah previously. From time to time, what we really believe that comes out. Yeah yeah. So this preconditioning that I am the body or I am in the body or I am part hmm. of the body. That is a very strong preconditioning that we start with. And therefore, yeah, it, it, is, uh, it can be a little bit difficult to come out of it. Yeah, but yeah. eventually, we need to be able to see it. Yeah, see madam. It means it should be in our living. You know, you said some things about the plant. Yes, plant is nurturing for me. But am I nurturing for the plant? Yeah, yeah. That I have to live. Isn't it? Yes, madam. We can see it in the sense that 
we have the words we have the information but what are we doing in our living yes madam if we are cutting a tree down we are not able to see our relationship no? yeah really madam that is why are we cutting it down yes so we are not understanding properly so i am in my life i am trying my level best not to use plastic and uh, you know, i am not asking you to justify anything i am just yeah yeah that we have to look at this in real life in real life yes madam not just as some in words, in words yeah some lecture or something yeah because lectures we read we hear we forget yeah yeah move on then it becomes back to our preconditionings in life we then live according to what we already believed yes madam and so in uh, coexistence also just uh, yes after that i will add one sentence madam yes please in coexistence also suppose the immersion all the bodies are uh, submerged uh, in the in space i observed but it is no. different from loved or you are thinking about it yes madam see when we say we observed that means yeah. i have directly seen yeah 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 that that also i see i yeah, i saw suppose you saw if or you are your thoughts about it are no right? no 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 sa madam suppose i immerse uh, my finger in glass a uh, glass of water still the finger is different from water but the bodies which are uh, submerged in space units they are not separate from that uh, because inside also space is there and outside also is we are, there we are analyzing it isn't it so uh, we, we can see also madam uh, oh, yeah 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 but that is not seeing okay okay seeing okay the water and the finger you are not seeing the space no yeah 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 you are you are analyzing it with this example yeah yeah so we can use similes we use examples but uh, that is the same as seeing it directly that yeah. is a very big thing to say really really because man inside we cannot say understand so is... that if we have to see we have to see we have to go beyond our senses na of course yeah, if yeah. we are at the gross level if we are trying to see with the gross eyes we cannot see it, it yeah really really madam isn't it yeah yeah so we in cases where we can't see it we can keep it open rather than keep telling ourselves i have seen it because okay. then i will not even try to see anything beyond because i think i know it mm mm-hmm. no yes madam so the whole point is i want to directly see all these realities the way they actually are yeah yeah but i have some information about them either i believe that information or i may have some information from before i believe that information and yeah, i yeah. didn't believe this but that's not what we are saying don't believe or disbelieve keep it open mm mm-hmm. whatever i can see directly let me go with that whatever i can't see directly keep that possibility open maybe mm. it's like this maybe it's like that i don't yeah. know yeah yeah isn't it yeah really madam see it for myself then i know for sure till then it is information yes i have the information yeah yeah guys no if i can see the space i can also see my relationship directly with every everybody i am talking of human beings yeah tree yeah tree is okay tree cannot you know tree will not say anything to you yeah yeah madam you with your with your colleague and your colleague gets angry and shouts now mm. am i seeing my relationship with that person am i really seeing the space that yeah. is a very big question no really really madam really? how is it so whatever i believe that comes up in my living my assumptions rule my feelings yeah most of the part that they only rule madam <laughs> who rules whatever we assume whatever uh, because yeah. if situations come across how we are we really see yeah that's <laughs> really? because yeah, see really. if i if i believe 
that people of my religion are like me people of the other religion are not like me i have one kind of feeling for people of my religion i have different kind of feeling for people of other religion yeah but if i see that religion is only preconditioning just it is one uh, uh, some you know uh, how we were brought same. up yeah so yes the religion i um, was born in such and such house so i grew up as such and such of such and such religion some somebody has been born in a different house they grew up as belonging to a different religion or yeah. i liked the teachings of one so i went with that religion R- really I liked the teachings of the other so i went with that but is there a difference as a human being as a self No? no difference yeah that we have to see but at the essence in the essence is there a difference so for that you know if i am able to directly see it then it will show in my living yeah yeah if it is not showing in my living i have not understood it yet i can keep it open i mean this is not just for you this for everybody yeah, for all yeah yeah i can understand madam yeah. because i am seeing that in my life also i know that uh, natural acceptance is same for all even then i am not uh, able to live comfortably with all the human beings at all uh, uh, levels of behavior so means yeah, i have not understood clearly ah because my assumptions are ruling my feeling ah definitely madam in family also even though we need not go to natural acceptance even though we uh, they are our family members even then we are un- uh, unable to bear uh, some situations uh, means We, we are at very gross level <laughs> uh, and uh, if we refer to natural acceptance then we are at very 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 low level because in my family I, and others uh, uh, outside family society all uh, i am observing the improvement very very slowly i am improving madam practical i am say, i am saying mm-hmm. but there is improvement but mm-hmm. uh, infinitesimally small <laughs> i can say <laughs> see you know that's fine that we are we can see some improvement ah yes our... yes madam that improvement i observed in some yeah, situations more it. that is good that we are working for it yeah yeah madam it, what it, i'm saying is until and unless i accept that i don't know or i can't see i don't try also see ah yes madam because, because all the time yeah. instinct no because you think that i know this so i don't have to try further yeah 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 But at least that i stop trying to explore further then i don't see things really ma'am but it will take more time for me isn't it yes madam those are choices we are making so we can accept that you know it might take time we can go step by step slowly yes man really the more we practice the more we improve but the practice is very uh, less that is one of the reasons ah so that we can increase yeah yeah i'm i'm trying madam yes yeah didi i could observe the gap between the two units i mean i'm talking about the distance only and the effect of one on the other also but mm-hmm. when it comes to relationship between the two mm-hmm. so uh, somewhere i think it is missing i could observe this in my case only that mm-hmm. for example with plants i have you know i like plants i have a very you know so what is this i don't know maybe it is the preconditioning but uh, i care for the plants so there is always always a relationship between any plant and me that mm-hmm. i Uh, observed yesterday mm-hmm. uh, any type of plant maybe mm-hmm. but when it comes to animals mm-hmm. so some animals with some animals insects we do have uh, that kind of you know re- there is a relationship that i want to care for the animal animal may or may not care for me but yes i do have that feeling but not with all this mm-hmm. i could observe yesterday that there is relationship but not with all similarly with people of you don't see the relationship yeah i don't see the relationship mm-hmm. so for example some stray dog mm mm-hmm. i don't see any specific relationship with stray dogs 
yeah. but for cows because there is this preconditioning also mm-hmm. uh, for cows there is always this feeling of you know respect and love so for few for some animals that we see around some insects that we see around i have that feeling of relationship uh, mm-hmm. i could see it in myself also but for mm-hmm. some i don't have that kind of relationship so this is one that i observed and mm-hmm. yes there is harmony in each unit individually combined there is coexistence because all are existing in the same space the same place so many things are uh, there in same place this i could see now how a coexistence i should see that could you please help me understand how do i see coexistence in all the units be, like the coexistence we are analyzing things we are trying to put it in words so that we get we think of some form think of some way na with the same words somebody may be thinking in one way you may be thinking in another way and so on but ultimately to be able to directly see it we have to develop the competence there is no other way words will never suffice we have to develop our competence so that we can awaken to the higher activities only when we reach to the highest activity the activity of realization can we have the competence to be able to directly see the space and only then can we see the coexistence really speaking otherwise before that we are kind of believing it isn't it that yes. it must be like this because i can see how you know, things are and i use the word that i may have heard but really to be able to directly see it from within me it's like this we say that when you have the right feeling you feel happy no till i have seen it i have to either believe it or disbelieve it and you will notice that many people who have not yet been able to see it they disbelieve it but how can we how, how can we do like this when the other is like that because you have not seen it directly yes, yes but once you see it you know it once you see that you can have the right feeling and you feel happy with that feeling even though the other person's behavior is not changed now you know you can see that so similarly slowly that your competence will develop let's not rush things that's why i was saying let's not be in a hurry that's why i only talked of the relationship part i wasn't talking of the innateness and the coexistence because it will take time yes, because right now whenever i think about coexistence i just see that observe that everything is there it is there it is existing i have no specific role in the existence of anything mm-hmm. everything is there it is existing i have not done anything existing. for the existence but i certainly yeah. have a role to play yes 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 i yeah. do have a role but i have not done anything for the existence of anything yeah i yeah. mean if you think about it what have we done for ourselves to be there nothing no yes i have not done anything to be here i am there by virtue of the coexistence yes. i have not done anything for my body to be there it is there yes it is there yes i do care but it is there yeah so i mean it is something very profound it will take time and that's okay we can keep it open whatever we are not able to directly see for ourselves we can keep it open and try to keep observing because yes. until and unless 
i am able to accept that i am not able to see it yet i'll not even try no so we want to keep making the effort awaken to the higher and higher activities within so that ultimately we can see directly and it will happen by virtue of the coexistence it will anyway happen it is just that i have a choice i can make it happen a little earlier if i pay attention with it because all the provision is there in this coexistence for yes. me to do that yes yes i yes. have to make that effort pay attention inside yes. yeah yeah thank you baby thank you madam coming to two things one is plants uh, i have uh, in before going for office or something i watered the all the plants personally i don't know what relation but i feel comfortable and when i come back home also before sunset i i do water all the plants and if i am away from mumbai on our do list the i my wife ensures that the, all the plants are watered and uh, we do take care of uh, you know periodically Uh, putting the mud and manure, and because it's a part of our system, I would say it's a family. So this is about plants, and coming to animals in our colony, we are very careful. We don't try to kill dogs or cats. You will be surprised that sometimes cat cats sit in the garden, or even at times cats do travel ele in elevators. So this is this is what I wanted to share. we we can't define the relationship but the relationship relationship is there this is mm-hmm. what i want to submit but point is are we seeing the relationship with all we care about plants yes. somebody comes yes. and destroys our plants are we able to see our relationship with that person yes yeah this is important don't just say yes think about it yeah okay i spend lot of time and effort taking care uh-huh. of plants in my yard correct a boy playing outside you know with the ball or something ah uh-huh. the ball comes in the house and it destroys the plant that i have been nurturing correct do i see my relationship with that child yes and that that we example, yeah no? that we need to develop yes yeah, yeah. yes so if i am seeing the relationship then i should be able to see my relationship with all right now we have certain preconditionings so based right. on those preconditionings whatever is in line with those we see uh. our relationship with that whatever is not in line with that we don't see our relationship okay. like i keep giving the example uh. somebody is victimized okay everybody is um you know uh, what is passion is for the victim uh huh see your relationship with the victim uh uh-huh. what about the person who committed the crime we don't see our relationship with that he right. need to suffer he must suffer he should be put in jail he should be hanged yes yeah. we have to rise up. above it yes yeah so we need to be able to see that even that fellow why he did this so yeah he is doing this because of lack of understanding correct perhaps circumstances were different from ours perhaps correct. upbringing was different from ours correct the conditions were different from ours whatever be the case correct ha uh. this lack of understanding but am i able to see my relationship with that fellow also yes so like that we have to we, we develop that also. yes thank you thank you thank you for your sharing Uh, even i uh, am i want to say something about the plants every day i am also wanting the uh, plants uh, i am observing I, in a little space i kept many pots and one plot leaves okay uh, spreads to other plants also other adjacent plant there i am observing the day every day when i am uh, watering that plant it it does not find the space it does not give, take the uh, not uh, able to take the uh, enough uh, sunlight that's why it's moving little bit away means 
towards the other plant it is like uh, where it is finding the uh, space to get the sunlight okay there is no uh, there is a disharmony in that plant i am observing the every day it just moving that is um, but okay there is no complaint like that that is the coexistence of those the things can the plant complain no no didi no but uh, it is moving okay where uh, it will not shrink it it uh, it tries to uh, get whatever it requires it's moving i am observing every day tries to get means what is it that is recognition and fulfillment no yes recognition and fulfillment is there yeah uh, that is very definite in the plants so all plants you will see that yeah didi and also uh, i i made a, a small uh, okay spaces for uh, growing that vegetables there i uh, every day i'm watering those that also talk about yeah. human beings why is everybody talking only about plants do we see our relationship with human beings yeah, yeah. but okay didi there uh, i'm removing the weeds uh, that is the, the those plants which are not uh, required for me i'm removing that one means it doesn't mean that okay i don't have the relationship but i'm supporting these plants whatever is required to me that's why i'm removing removing those weeds and yeah, that's okay we are trying to grow something and so we are trying to remove anything that we don't want to grow over there yeah didi and But also if you, at, if you look at the forest there you will see in plenty everything will be there in plenty yes yes mm. yeah uh, even i uh, have the relationship with uh, uh, all the human beings or else all the uh, but uh, uh, sometimes it's not is uh, challenging the uh, to have a good but feeling the relationship on. is there you have the relationship yeah, yeah, we may not be able to see it all the time we can okay, say it is there but uh, um, having harmony in ourselves with their behavior it is a challenging thing actually it is very i feel a little bit difficult having harmony within ourselves is because of what because of my decisions because of my the that uh, okay feelings hmm. having my feeling is not in line with my natural acceptance therefore yes, i yes. am in disharmony yes yes didi that is the reason that is the But reason we think that it is the other person who is irritating who is coming in the way who is you know interfering distracting all those terms we use such an irritating person is the person irritating or am i creating irritation in myself with that feeling of opposition that question we must keep asking ourselves when i ask that question didi i myself only getting irritation okay uh, because of that uh, that is i have the uh, disharmony in myself i am able to observe what they are doing why they are doing i am able to see that one still okay mm -hmm. that is the uh, why i am irritated means because of my disharmony in myself because not because of that i am able to know uh, understand uh, means uh, know that one i know it still uh it is a little bit difficult to have the harmony all the times didi correct very mean true i need to develop the competence still yeah very true lot of times it happens that now we have all the words we have the information we think we have understood but then again sometimes it happens that we again go into slip into that disharmony we feel again unhappy and yeah. it is important to try to see there also that this is happening because we have some beliefs some preconditions yeah. some deep rooted yes. assumptions sanskars which because of which i already have such a feeling yes yes and that feeling is then you know being driven therefore by the assumption so it seems like it's happening spontaneously even though i am trying but the whole point is if i keep making the effort if i keep trying if i keep working with my 
natural acceptance then slowly at some point this sanskar which is very deep rooted will become loose and will drop off okay baby yes but it is very challenging also become definite yeah it is very when we tell ourselves it is challenging it is challenging the more difficult yeah, it is. <laughs> even though still that is also conditioning <laughs> yeah, not so didi okay the situations will be like that okay. uh, yeah i am making the effort situation may be whatever it is it is my lack of competence okay. Okay. it is my feeling which i am in charge of or okay. not in charge of it sometimes so but it is my decision so to be able to see that it is not because of the situation it is not the situation that is challenging it is i am making the wrong decisions because of my assumptions about everything yeah is it yeah yeah it is very true the, the preconditions uh, are very deep rooted <laughs> okay slowly uh, okay we, we can come out of those preconditions very slow process did it is yes actually um, uh, i don't uh, see any space between self and uh, self and body mm -hmm. actually it is a built in uh, uh, i see self as a something within the within the within the body mm -hmm. means uh, uh, uh integrated into the body yeah this is a very deep rooted preconditioning see for all of us what happens is we start with that belief that i am the body so yeah, now the body becomes part and part of the body hmm. Hmm. so this that belief is there so what i would say is every time you think like this you can see that this is a belief let me keep it open uh -huh. there is a possibility that the self is not within the body uh, within means within means uh, the body means the material that is integrated into the material uh, which uh, um, is behind the interaction between different units etc Uh, just it. like i was relating it with the a program and the system computer so just like a program residing in a computer this is not that material issue should be there for it to work let us not use such similes because the consciousness unit itself is far more subtle than the material so when we are trying to take an example of the material we may not be able to get it right so i would say keep it open right now it may seem like this but try to keep it open when we say that you know am i that pain sensation am i in the pain sensation so if i was in the body then i would have to sort of you know uh, read that sensation but i don't have to i find so many times that i am you know if i am busy with something else i even forget about the pain so how is that possible so if we question it we analyze it we can get some clues but eventually we have to directly see it for ourselves the distance between the self and the body Uh, i just want to share uh, two incidents uh one is from the past 5 years actually i stopped talking to my sister in law uh, for help to my husband with uh, some money for a particular purpose uh, without my knowledge uh, even though i could able to recall the good things to say did for my family uh, for example whenever i was doing my higher studies uh, uh, she had taken care of my uh, children at the time so now with the right feeling and the right understanding i want to uh, meet her and to have a good relationship with their family so very soon i'll do that uh, mm. and and another thing 
uh, in uh, the backyard of our house uh, there is one moringa tree uh, it used to give more uh, tasty drumsticks and then the leaves i used to uh, give to our, our neighbors also but last month i cut it because i felt that uh, it is somewhat difficult to, to me to clean the leaves fall down frequently uh, but i i was not as happy with it uh, but now i realized that i and i decided not to cut it um, from now onwards i understand all the benefits uh, i used to uh, make uh, some le- soups uh, with that leaves and then more benefits i have so cleaning is uh, also a good exercise exercise for me that also <laughs> i uh, understand and yesterday i admired that tree and felt so happy yeah so we will see that you know as we keep reflecting on these things as we keep trying to see our relationship with all the units it may start with information it may start with thoughts it may start with analysis but slowly as we keep working on the pro on this process of exploration slowly we will be able to see more and more awaken to those higher activities which are already there we just have to see them so let's go back to exercise 2 step 7 okay this is good so this is so far what we have done so we have observed just to recap the steps so far in exercise 2 first of all that i am there the body is also there both are existing i can see i am there how because i can see my imagination activities going on within me i can also see the body is there how do i know that the body is there because i can read the sensation from the body so many people say of course i can see my body because i can see through my eyes that it is there but when you are seeing through the eyes that is also a sensation isn't it so you can say you are reading the sensation from the body therefore you know that the body is there then we saw that there is or we talked about this we discussed this that this interaction that is happening between the self and the body in this interaction there is only some exchange of information nothing physical is being transferred from one to the other so i give some instruction to the body the body follows there are many sensations in the body i choose to read some sensation and then based on that i give the i take the decision about the instruction so this interaction between the self and the body is only of either instruction that i am giving or the sensation i am reading so that is also just information then who is taking those decisions about the you know sensations that we are reading the instruction that we are given i am the decision maker the body is got a very definite role and it is just following whatever i decide i tell the body i instruct the body the body follows in step 4 we ask that question you know can we see a distance between myself and the sensation that i am reading from the body so pain is a good example or if you are itching somewhere some sensation is there you try to read the sensation and you try to see are you in the sensation 
or are you the sensation or are you at a distance from the sensation so we were able to many of us were able to see this that i am not the sensation neither am i in the sensation but i can see i can read the sensation from wherever i am at a distance from the body now if you see this interaction that is happening between the self and the body this interaction is happening from time to time it's not all the time lot of times i am busy with myself i am not even aware that the body is there but as and when i require i am able to bring my attention back to the body from time to time as and when required so i am going down the steps i instruct the body to go down the steps i am not aware although i have made that decision and i have instructed the body and while going down i may be busy with myself but i almost slip and i immediately pay attention to the body and give the instruction to correct my um no placement of the foot so that i don't fall or give instruction to bring out the hand and hold something so that i don't fall so you'll see that lot of times we are not even aware of what is happening we are busy with ourselves we are not even aware of the body being there if you are sitting by yourself you are watching a movie you are not even aware of the body lot of times you are so busy with whatever you are watching the movie may not be outside the movie may be going on within me i may be thinking about something that happened in the past and that movie is playing in me now i am reliving those moments of the past whether they are happy moments or unhappy moments and i am not aware of the body at all but if there is a pain in the body i immediately pay attention to the body so you will notice that your interaction with the body is not continuous it is only from time to time so if i was in the body then i would be forced to read the sensation all the time but that's not happening i am interacting only from time to time so there is a distance between the self and the body this we spoke of now if we look further in step 7 step 7 is about observing my being in space again this step is not meant as something that we have to be able to see right now it may be early days we may be lacking in competence to be able to see this but it is a sort of slow progression that we can look for or move towards so that ultimately we can have some readiness to work with exercise 3 whenever we do that so i am in space in coexistence in space body is also in space in coexistence just like every other unit so all independent units are in space submerged in space they are coexisting in space 
as a human being also there is the body there is the self these are two distinct units they are coexisting in space so space is there around these units space is there inside these units space is there everywhere so i can transact information with the body how it's happening by virtue of being in space by virtue of being in space i am able to pass this instruction to the body i am able to read the sensation from the body it is happening by virtue of being in space but i am the one who is deciding when i want to transact the information that is up to me that is my choice my decision so whatever instructions i am giving to the body how is it going to the body through space i am reading some sensations that are taking place in the body how am i able to read them through space this ultimately we have to be able to observe directly so i interact with the body from time to time as and when i decide to my being is not dependent on the body it's not that if the body dies then i die i am not dependent on the body no my being is also not dependent on the sensations so if i am reading the pain sensation i am not bound to read it i am not bound to suffer it that decision i can take in fact my being is not dependent on anything outside i am there in coexistence in space not dependent on any other unit an interdependence is there but it's not that state of helplessness that i can't do anything because the body is like this or i can't do anything because the situation is like this or i can't do anything because the other person is like this i am in coexistence just like every other person is in coexistence just like every other unit is in coexistence there is an interdependence i just need to be able to finally understand this coexistence see this coexistence and live in accordance with this coexistence to be able to see that i am related to all every unit and i am responsible toward all that will come you know as a natural progression when i see my participation so right now we take responsibility for our children why because we see our relationship with them so imagine if i saw my relationship with all i will have the feeling of responsibility towards all i may not be able to do physically everything for everybody but that feeling of responsibility will be there towards all so if you see in essence being able to see the coexistence being able to see that i am in coexistence and every other unit is also in coexistence it is submerged in space that is what is referred to as the truth if we want to know the truth this is referred to as the truth satya i am related to all this relationship to all if i can i can see my relationship to all then i have the feeling of love in me and if i can see my responsibility towards all 
then it shows as compassion in my behavior with them. So all of this is possible, doable. The potential is there. We have to work towards it. Any immediate questions we can take? A couple of minutes are there. Yes? Uh, this, this uh, one thing that written at the end that I am in coexistence in space, then within bracket mm -hmm. written, not dependent on any other unit. So mm -hmm. here not dependent means I am thinking that uh, my happiness is not dependent on the others, that thing. Right. Uh, otherwise, there is a relationship. So that, that means there is... Relationship is there, you can call it an interdependence of sort. Ha, 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 ha. But like you said, your happiness is not dependent. Happiness is not happiness. dependent. Yeah. Yes. Yes, correct. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my some religious preachers they say that uh, either you are related to everybody or you are not related to anybody. So, uh, I am in confusion. Can you put some light on that statement? Yeah. So, I would say that it's possible. I mean, I can't say exactly what somebody else means, but I would look at it like this, that if I am seeing my relationship, then I will see it with all. I can't say that I see my relationship with some, but not with others. So that means I am not able to see the relationship, really. But mm. I am going by my assumption that the other's preconditioning is like mine, therefore I have feeling of relationship. So either I am able to see it or I am not able to see it. That is the thing. The relationship is already there. There is no question about that. Being in space, in submergence, we all are related already. It's only a question of whether I see it or I don't see it. If I see it, I see it with all. If I don't see it, I don't see it. It can't be partial. It can't be that I see it with some and not with other. That means I can't see it. Yeah, does that answer? No, I was asking that I am not related to anybody. I'm just Let's not Let's discuss this tomorrow, shall we? We've run out of time. Okay, fine. Can you use this question first first thing 5.30 in the morning? Okay, nice. Then we'll discuss it. Okay.